Now back to the coronavirus outbreak and in Jersey the Emergencies Council met this afternoon to discuss plans to protect vulnerable islanders. We've heard about those plans in the last few minutes. Yes they include health checks for those over 80 deemed at risk and banning non-essential business travel for government employees. Large-scale events and public gatherings will be reviewed but there is a warning that those could be postponed. Well let's cross now again to Claire Burton who's at the Royal Square. Claire. Uh, yes, I'm actually inside the state's building now where um, a media briefing is about to take place now with the Chief Minister, Senator John LaFondre. So, Senator, the measures that Jersey's announced today seem a little bit weaker than what Guernsey seems to have announced. Why is that? No. So the Emergency Council will be meeting all, uh, all afternoon t um, today. We've been in a very good position because of all the planning measures that's been going on for uh, months, if not years, depending whether it's supply lines and things like that. Uh, we've made some very specific decisions for today, and then we've got some other forthcoming ones. But don't forget, as I said, we are in a very good position, but the objective of what we're trying to do is to, whilst we've only got two cases on the island now, We've got, uh, we've got to mitigate the future impact of the virus on the island. Of so course, but so we could it. see a spread and people are worried. People are calling for a lockdown. So Over a thousand people signing a petition. Yes. This looks weak. So with immediate effect, so from tomorrow, we are going to be putting, we've got the agreed some funding in place with effect from tomorrow that will bring in immediate health checks for, for example, vulnerable people in society, people over 80 years of age, people with chronic conditions. Those will commence tomorrow. With immediate effect, uh, non-essential government business uh, off-island is suspended. Um, we, will be doing some we will be doing some announcements um, during the course of the next few days. One is around large-scale um, events taking place. I'm just going to come back to um, travel, as you mentioned it, though, because yes. in Guernsey, they've kind of asked islanders, all islanders, not to take non-essential travel. Well, you're still encouraging islanders to go on their holidays. Why? No, what we're saying at this stage is we're saying, and all of the advice, all of the decisions we're making is based on the best medical advice that we are getting. And to date, the advice is that for business, non-critical business, if, um, if it's not essential, don't travel. But for personal, pe for personal business, that's a matter for, sorry, for personal matters and travel, that's a matter for individuals at this stage. And what then, about the, schools then? When are you going to make a decision so on schools? A decision on schools, uh, schools and colleges will be made in the early part of next week. There are some proposals that have been put to the Emergencies Council today, but we will just be fine-tuning them before we do an announcement next week, always on the basis of the medical advice and looking at the overall impact on the island and what is best to reduce the impact or to mitigate the impact of the virus in Jersey in the next few weeks. And just briefly, um, what about help for business? Because we've heard the tourism businesses are, you know, 70% down on bookings. No. They need government help. We have also agreed some very specific measures for business, which actually Senator Farnham will be getting some more details on shortly. But, for example, we have agreed uh, to look at the Social Security payments, and that will be, again, with immediate, from immediate effect for employer and employee contributions, and essentially to uh, defer those payments to assist businesses in their cash flow. There are some other measures that are being evaluated, and again, they'll be coming through in the next few days. Senator Farn can speak to you on those details. OK, Chief Minister, thank you very much. So much more to emerge in the next few days. But all we can see for now is the two islands taking really quite different approaches. OK, Claire, thank you. Right, let's move on to the weather. Then some